Hey budgeting squad, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you decided to click on today's video. In today's video, we are going to be stuffing my cash envelopes for the month of December using my November paycheck. If you are new, welcome. My name is Summer and I'm your budgeting bestie. And here on my channel, I am documenting my journey to financial freedom and make videos on budgeting, saving money, paying off debt, and pretty much anything money related. If that's content that you're interested in, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and definitely consider hitting that subscribe button to join the budget squad. I would love to have you become a part of the family. Let's go ahead and get into today's cash stuffing video. I am really excited to be stuffing my cash envelopes. I absolutely love stuffing my cash envelopes and getting new envelopes for the month. If you are new to my channel, I do change out my envelopes every month. I like to use printable envelopes that I either get from the budget mom or ones that I create. I just like changing out my envelopes every month because it just helps to keep budgeting fun and it also helps me to stay organized. So these are my envelopes for the month of December. I went with a Christmas theme and I purchased these envelopes from the budget mom on her website. I love purchasing her envelopes because you can purchase the file and then you can print them as many times as you want. So I can use these next year if I want, or I could use these as a Christmas sinking fund envelope as well. So in today's video, we are going to be stuffing $1,125. I am not gonna count the money because I do use this cash total slip from the budget mom. So since I have this cash total slip, we are just going to count the bill quantity to make sure that we have all of our money. So we should have $1,125. So let's go ahead and take the money out and let's verify that we have this amount. We should have $51 bills. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. So this is $50. We should have seven $5 bills. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is $35. We should have four $10 bills. One, two, three, four. This is $40. $40. We should have 10 $20 bills. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is $200. We should have 14 $50 bills. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. This is $700. And lastly, we should have one $100 bill. This is $100. So now that we have all of our money in my little um, money stand, let's go ahead and stuff my cash envelopes. This month for the month, of December, I am going to continue to be cashless for gas. I just like to keep my gas money in my bank account. That way when I go to the gas station to fill up on gas, I can just use my debit card and don't have to worry about going in and paying with cash. It just makes it so much easier. At the beginning of my financial journey, I did use cash, but now that I am on my third year in my financial journey, I do have the self-discipline to just keep it um, in my bank account and to use my debit card um, for gas only. The first envelope we are going to be stuffing is our food envelope. For food, food is going to get $300. It's going to get four $50 bills. One, two, three, four. It's going to get four $20 bills. One, two, three, four. It's going to get $21 bills. One, two, three, four, five, 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So this should be $300. I did go ahead and reduce my food budget this month. I am going to South Carolina to visit my sister and mom. So I will not be spending as much money on food. So I reduced my budget to $300. That, um, that way I could give myself more money in my fun slash entertainment envelope and in my personal envelope. So let's go ahead and count our money to make sure we have $300. 50, 100, 150, 200, 220, 240, 260, 280, 281, 282, 283, 284, 285, 286, 287, 288, 289, 90, 291, 292, 293, 294, 295, 296, 297, 298, 299, and 300. So all of our money is there and we're going to go ahead and put this in our food envelope. The next envelope that we are going to be stuffing is my household envelope. Household is going to get $125. It's going to get two $50 bills. One, two. It's going to get one $10 bill. One $5 bill. Or two $5 bills and five ones. One, two, three, four, five. This should be $125. Let's just go ahead and check. 50, 100, 110, 115, 120, 121, 122, 123, 124, 125. The next envelope we are going to be stuffing is my fun slash entertainment envelope. Fun slash entertainment is going to get $250 this month. I did go ahead and increase the amount for fun slash entertainment this month because I know that I'm going to be spending a little bit more money in this area because I will be out of town. I'm going to stuff my fun slash entertainment envelope with four $50 bills. One, two, three, four. One $20 bill, one $10 bill, two $5 bills, one, two, and five ones. One, two, three, four, five. This should be $250. Let's go ahead and check to make sure. 50, 100, 150, 200, 220, 230, 235. 240, 241, 242, 243, 244, 245. It should actually have 10 $5 bills. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This will give us 10. So now this should have the correct amount. 50, 100, 150, 200, 220, 230, 235, 240, 241, 242, 243, 244, 245, 246, 247, 248, 249, and 250. All of my money today is pretty dirty and gross. I mean, money is generally dirty and gross, but today it just appears to be extra dirty. My house slash beauty envelope is going to get its normal $300. It's going to get one $100 bill, two $50 bills, four $20 bills, one, two, three, four, one $5 bill, one $10 bill, and five ones. One, two, three, four, five. This should be $300. Let's go ahead and check. 100, 150, 200, 220, 240, 260, 280, 290, 295, 296, 297, 298, 299, and 300. Lastly, the last envelope that we're going to stuff is my personal envelope, and my personal envelope is going to get $150. So that should be the remaining of the money in my tray. So let's just go ahead and count this to make sure it's $150. 
150, 100, 120, 130, 135, 140, 141, 142, 143, 144, 145, 146, 147, 148, 149, and 850 dollars. And then I do have one more envelope. This envelope is my back to the bank envelope. It does not get any money. I do use this envelope when I use my debit card to make purchases. And then I will take the money out of my cash envelope and put it in the back to the bank envelope. That way I'm paying myself back. I just use this envelope to help me with paying myself back. Well, that concludes my cash stuffing for the month of December. I really hope that you enjoyed this video or found it helpful. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and definitely consider hitting that subscribe button to join me on my financial journey. I would love to have you become a part of my YouTube family. Well, I hope you have an amazing day and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye. But before you go, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It definitely helps out my channel and I truly appreciate your support. Mm -hmm.